What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath2501 here. Okay, so I've been really hesitant to do this because, well, there's a lot of subject. Ma I do, I do like this. I do like this episode, and I like this show. You know, and you know, everybody knows that. You know, I'm not exactly a prude. However, there's a, some things in this show. Of course, this is the Hasbin Hotel pilot, and this has been requested several times by several people, and I do like it. I'm sorry, I've already seen it, and I wasn't really intending to do it. You know, because there are uh, several things about subject matter that are a little bit much for what I was willing to put into this channel. Um, you know me, you know, I'm not above cussing or anything like that, you know. And, of course, I've played Doom, so I'm not above, you know, putting hell imagery. I mean, yeah, I am a Christian, but this is, this is fiction. It's not real, okay? So don't, you know, I'm pretty sure hell isn't like this, all right? But, um, regardless of anything, um... There was some subject matter that I don't think is right for the channel, and of course, um, despite the fact that I like the episode overall, and also there are some uh, things that um, I'm worried. I'm not a big. I'm not a very big channel. I'm not even up to. At the time of me putting this out, I'm not even up to 50k yet, and I really don't want to incur YouTube's bitchiness for for certain things. So uh, for certain subject matters. So the this this is going to be the Hasbin Hotel pilot episode. However, guys, there will be stuff cut out. Okay, this is not the entire episode. Some things will be cut out. I'm sorry if that upsets some people, but things will be cut out of this episode. All right, that's just what I want to put out there. All right, so just bear with. But there is a lot here. So let's get this party started and go. I mean, this thing took like three years for a bunch of independent animators to do, the and they were able to do some stuff, amazing stuff here. In the first week, they got like something I've like, they got something like 10 million views. My life is a race, just a wild goose chase, and my dreams have all been denied. See, I'm also going to be talking about this, and I'm assuming that you guys have seen this as well. Why have I always been a failure? What can the reason yeah. be? They put in these musical numbers, too. Or maybe people are just dicks. And this is supposed to be after they do a purge like every year. So, um, I'm assuming angels come and purge hell because the population gets out of control. Okay, why did she even do that? I don't understand that part. Why would she do that? Or she's just putting like an all clear so people can come out of hiding. And then they got to do cleanup. People just start coming out of hiding. Next cleanse, 365 days. So apparently it happens every year. I'm assuming, I'm just going to go by the sake of um, my own personal preference, that that is actually done by Doom Guy, okay? I'm just going to be putting that out there. No, you're not. Okay. Okay, so there was a large section cut out there. Most of the, most of the problems come from Angel Dust. Okay, yeah, there's this guy. can compare to the likes of I. Gee. That was pretty swell. Okay, Age of the Boss. Demons is pretty unique, yeah. so really what the hell is with the egg thing? Is this like, like a minion joke or what? Ring. I don't get it. I wish he'd shoot me with his ray gun. 
At this rate, I will seize control of the entire west side of the pentagram by day's end. And nothing, uh -huh. not a single beast in this inferno of suffering will be able to take back this empire from my constrictive grasp. Okay, that's gross. Oh, Hell will be mine. And why does he keep and these idiots around? Know the name of Sir Lord. Okay, gotta admit, that was a good that? one. Edgelord, that what was a good one. What did you just say to me, you fried chicken fetuses? Speak up! That wasn't us, Mr. Boss Man. Okay, that glass broke way too easy. <laughs> but this is a cartoon, so. That didn't go off like you a regular bomb, it went off like a smoke bomb. Old man. Why don't you get that Tinker Toy bullshit off my turf before I smash it? More. Oh, you wanna go, Missy? Well, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> Okay, they're looking like some kind of like uh, 1900s gang, gang and New York I'm gang or some shit. Chaos out of Pentagram City today as a turf war is raging on the west side between notable kingpin Serpentius and Silver. What the hell is up with that? What is up with that thing That's with right, the um uh, the, 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 the skateboard? Many areas are now up for grabs. Demons I, There's got to be a story behind that. And I'm actually curious about it. Territory. Those two seem to really be going at it. Huh? Looks like they're fighting tooth and nail for that hot spot. And I'd sure like to nail her hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> you are a lip dick jackass, Tom. Or should I say, no dick. Coming up next, we have an exclusive interview with the daughter of Hell's own head honcho, who's here to discuss her brand new passion project. All that and more after the break. Suck it up, you little bitch. You remember what to say? Yes, let's do this. Just look at me and I'll mouth it to you. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> she I doesn't trust her say. at all. I just feel like we need to, I don't know, make things sound more exciting. <gasps> what if I sing? sing a song about it? You You're not supposed to sing. Say that. Because I know you. But please don't sing. This is serious. She's gonna no, sing. You know. we all, you've all seen this. You all know she's gonna sing. Goes through song. But life isn't a musical, hun. Fine. But I have these Wasn't other. Wasn't that a movie? Life is a musical. The highlighted bits are the best parts. Uh, it's all highlighted. It's all this highlighted. Yes, that's the happy ending. See, everyone smiling and happy in heaven. I don't think it's that simple. Just please follow the talking points we went over. And do not sing. Okay, fine. The fact that she says the not to sing fine. so much, you, you know she's voice gonna voice sing. Voice. You know she's gonna do it. Hi, I'm Charlie. Katie Killjoy. I'd say it's a pleasure to meet you, but that would be a lie. You can put that away. I don't touch the gaze. I have standards. Yeah, how's, uh, how's that working out for you? Look. My time is money, so I'll keep this short. You're not here because we wanted you here. You're here because Jeffrey couldn't make it for his cannibal cooking segment. You might be some royal big shot, but that doesn't mean shit to me. I'm too rich and too influential to give a flying fuck about what some tough swearing demon princess wants to advertise. But I... So don't get cute with me, honey, or I will fucking bury you. And we're live! Welcome back! So, Charlotte. It's... Charlie. Whatever. Tell us about this new passion project you've been insistently pestering our news station about. Well, <clears throat> as most of you know, okay. I was so here's this here part right there. Yeah, I can't. I skipped some more other stuff. To see the good in everything around me. Hell is my home. Okay, so you are my that was not a good idea. <laughs> we, we just went through another extermination. We lost so many souls, and it breaks my heart to see my people being slaughtered every year. No one is even given a chance. I can't stand idly by while the place I live is subjected to such violence. So... Subjected? It subjects thinking, itself. Isn't there a more humane way to hinder overpopulation here in hell? Perhaps we can create an alternative way to change souls through... Redemption? Well, I think yes. So that's what this project aims to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm opening the first of its kind. A hotel that rehabilitates sinners. You know, because hotels are 
for people passing through temporarily. <laughs> Is this girl for real? She thinks it. You hear what she thinks? She. <laughs> oh, she's nuts. I figure it would serve a purpose. A place to work towards perfection. Technically, it would serve a purpose, and logically, you can either you can either try try this out, or you can get killed in the next purge. Pick one. Look, every single one of you has something good deep down inside. No, they don't. I know you. That's do. why they're there. Maybe I'm not getting through to you. Oh god, here it comes. Uh oh. See, he's a, he's actually my favorite character right there. But that'll be coming up later. So they're actually, they're actually, he's actually looking around, wondering where the hell that music is coming from. Literally, he's wondering where the hell that music is coming from. Oh, God. This is actually kind of cringy. Okay, that's like it's just see that's that's an interesting part of that little song right there because even though she looks like kind of they make her look like adorable but she does show that you know she can uh, look evil right there so okay you guys should be really appreciative that I kept the music in here because this is well I don't know if I'm gonna copyright it part but um. It is incredibly cringy. <laughs> this song in general is kind of cringy. I don't care for it. I can't even understand 99% of what's being said here. Okay, where did where did all the props come from and everything? It's like she just magics wow. this shit. <laughs> that was shit. Ah! <laughs> so... Actually, her song overall was pretty good, but, um... What in the nine circles makes you think a single denizen of hell would give two shits about becoming a better person? You have no... I, it doesn't... It, this see, this doesn't... This doesn't make any sense right here. You, you know, you I mean... It? Yeah, I understand they're all because bad people. They're all incredibly well, bad people. We have a patron but already who believes in our cause, and he's shown incredible progress. Oh, and who might that be? There's some stuff I'm cutting out here. Okay, I skipped through some stuff there. Sorry, guys. But... It's probably a good idea to get some actual food in this place. You know, to feed all the wayward souls you got in here. <laughs> He's an asshole. This is an interesting thing right here. This is one of the reasons why I left this in here. Because look at right there. This actually... She doesn't get mad... She doesn't start cussing at him or throw anything at him or anything. She just looks really disappointed, and it actually seemed to affect him. That actually shows a little bit of progress. Hey, Mom, he um, genuinely seemed I to feel I bad. Calling, and, uh, you must For one of you, I mean, you guys have seen this, so you know what he did. But um, the interview didn't go well, and I don't know if I'm going to make a difference. I don't know what I'm doing. I could really use some advice, Mom. I... I think Dad was right about me. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop talking before this gets long. Love you. Bye. Hmm. Taking her relationship with her family isn't that great. I'm actually I'm curious, though, what her relationship is actually with her mother rather than her father. Does her mother actually care about her? Okay, here we go. This is my best... This is the favorite part of the episode. <laughs> he doesn't even miss a beat. Did she close the door again? I love that. What? Who? What should I do? Well, don't let him in. Mm-hmm. Don't let him in. 
then, I speak now? And then what she do? She opens the door again. Now it's a pleasure to be meeting you, sweetheart. Quite a pleasure. Excuse my sudden visit, but I saw your fiasco on the picture show, and I just couldn't resist. What a performance! Why I haven't been I do like his character. I like the way they do his voice. Though you can hear how it uh, splits up right. So many orphans. See, there are some parts where you see the radio part of it kind of splits off of it a little bit. And I'm not gonna let you the, the effect they're putting kind of fades out. This cheesy talk show shit, Lord. <laughs> this is badass to too. Anyone here, I would have done so already. Okay, that's pretty no, badass. I like that. To say what now? Oh. Say what now? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, is this thing on? Testing, testing. Well, I heard you loud and clear. Um, you want to help? He's like a walking yeah. freaking cliche. thing you're trying to do. In fact, most of these characters are walking cliches. I want to help you run it. But... Why? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why? Does anyone Why? Do anything? Sheer absolute boredom. I've lacked inspiration for decades. My work became mundane, lacking focus. Aimless. I've come to crave a new form of entertainment. I'm surprised she hasn't shanked him yet. Does getting into a fist fight with a reporter count as entertainment? Yes, yes it does. It's the purest kind, my dear. Reality, yep. true passion. After all, the world is a stage, and the stage is a world of entertainment. See, it fades so, out right there. Does this mean that you think it's possible to rehabilitate? It's very cool. It actually adds an interesting <laughs> of bit of. Not. That's wacky nonsense. It actually adds Redemption. a little bit to his character. Oh, I like it. Non-existent humanity. No, 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 no. I don't think there's anything left that could save such loathsome sinners. The chance given was the life they lived before. The punishment is. The he looks specifically at them no when he says that. Done. So then. Why do you want to help me if you don't believe in my cause? Consider an investment in ongoing entertainment for myself. I want to watch the scum of the world struggle to climb up the hill of betterment, only to repeatedly trip and tumble down to the fiery pit of failure. That sounds about right. Right. That sounds like reality yes, TV indeed. in a nutshell, actually, I if you think about it. I mean, that shit's on TV all the time. I mean... <laughs> so, uh, what's the deal with Smiles over there? Wait, you've never heard of him before? You've been here longer than me. The Radio Demon. <laughs> one of the most powerful beings Hell has ever seen. Eh, yes, a world of people who are incredibly no, self-absorbed. Why would they know each other if they haven't encountered each other? manifested in Hell seemingly overnight. You began to topple overlords who had been dominant for centuries. That kind of raw power had never been okay, harnessed by a mortal soul before. Then he broadcast his carnage all throughout hell, just so the artwork right there is freaking awesome. I love it. Sinners started calling him the Radio Demon, as lazy as that is. It is Many lazy, have but still, what still, force still fits. To rival that guy looks like he's the guy on the left with the fiery force. head. He looks like the guy from uh, Star vs. the Force of Evil. He's an unpredictable source of danger, a wicked spirit of mystery, and a violent monster of chaos, the likes of which we can't risk getting involved with unless we her want to Her ribbon on her head race. changes into horns. You're done. Yeah, I'm actually he with him like just on that one. Femme. Well, I don't trust him. Burn. To be fair, do you trust any man? Any men? <laughs> men? Yes, I know her and Charlie are a you thing, can't all right? this creep. That's something else I have to be careful about what I talk about on uh, YouTube, or else I might get hit with the demonetization. And is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything we're trying to do. I... we don't know that. Look, I know he's bad. I'm trying to look at the artwork in the background. I get the feeling this is from several of the creators. See, this this part right there, that interests me. How can I turn I'm going to put that back there for just a second. Men... Charlie okay, I can't. I'm, I, this is being off my you computer, can't so. believe this creep. He isn't just a happy face. He can't be redeemed. And is most likely looking for a way to destroy everything we're trying to do. I, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We don't know that. Just one oh, second. Look, Sorry about I that. I know he's bad, and I know he probably doesn't want to change. But the whole point of this is to... See, like, that. He's, he's paying a lot of attention to her family photo. So I get the feeling that his... His motivations aren't exactly um, about, you know, just entertainment for himself, but this is a chance for him to get, he's probably going to try to use her to get close to her family. That's just, that's just my personal opinion, so what, let me know what you guys think. Give people a chance. Have faith, things will be better. 
how can I turn someone away? This is really how you get people to be interested in the show because there's a lot of nuances in in the episode and people some people pick up on them. So people are like, how, where is this show going? You know, it's kind of like it's almost like got that whole Gravity Falls thing going. Don't yeah, don't. Worry. I, I like how radio thing, sound I'm effects are going on around it too. Take shit from other demons. Okay, so now you're sketchy as fuck, and you clearly see what I'm trying yes. to do here as a joke. But I. <laughs> He's like doing shit behind her back. I love it. a chance to prove they can be better. So he I'm is my favorite character. Help, on the condition that there be no trickster voodoo strings attached. So it's a deal then. Yeah, don't do that. Nope. No shaking. First time I saw this, I thought I... She legit she was going to do something mm -hmm. stupid and shake his hand. As princess of hell and heir to the throne, I, uh, hereby order that you help with this hotel for as long as you desire. Eh. Sound fair? Hmm. Fair enough. Cool beans. <laughs> Smile, my dear. You know you're never fully dressed without one. Okay, I'm wondering if that was like a Captain Marvel joke so where or is something. I'm actually that? really curious about that, uh, if they really meant that. Oh, That's it. You're going to need more than that. The place is a dump. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I'm leaving this in. Your dick. Ha! No. Your loss. There you go. Well, this just won't do. I suppose I can cash in a few favors to liven things up. That's just weird. <laughs> this little okay, she's kind of adorable. Nifty. Hi, I'm Nifty. It's nice to meet you. It's been a while since I've made new friends. <laughs> Why are you all women? I'm sorry if that's rude. Oh man, this place is She doesn't know Everybody's that Angel Dust is a man. Which is weird because you're all ladies, no offense. Oh my <laughs> gosh, this is awful. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Neat freak. Nope. Uh, nope. Ha! Read them and weep, boys. Oh. <laughs> Hell? What the fuck is this? You. Ah, Husker, my good friend. Glad you can make it. Don't you husker me, you son of a bitch. I'm actually I really curious to, to, to how they too. are uh, associated with each other. This time. My friend, I am doing some charity work. He so must he probably owes him owes him okay. a favor or something like that. He made a deal with him. Oh. I'm curious about no, the story behind so. it. You thought it would be some kind of big fucking riot just to pull me out of nowhere? You think I'm yes. some kind of fucking clown? Maybe. I ain't doing no fucking charity. Show. Okay, that was, that's well, a good burn. That is a good one. He the just looks at me like, desk of this fine maybe. <laughs> With your charming <laughs> smile and welcoming energy, this job was made for you. Don't worry, my friend. I can make this more welcoming. If you wish. Cheap booze? What, it's literally called cheap booze. Get some cheap booze? Well, you can. That's almost like hey, Warner hey, Brothers hey, hey, kind of stuff no, going on right there. We had a bottle with just no, three X's this on the is side of it. to be a place that discourages sin. Not some kind of now brothel man thing. Shut up! Shut up! We are keeping this. Hey. Go fuck yourself. I'm surprised she didn't just start beating the crap out of him oh right then gosh. and there. Welcome to the Happy Hotel. You are going to love it here. Okay, she's creepy right there, like incredibly so. So, what do you think? This is amazing! <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> this is going to be very entertaining. You can't deny that. That's. You have a he pushes her a lot. He's always You're shoving her around a lot. And it's just laughable, but hey, kid, what's that? She's the getting hell? one word stressed. Because you're one of a kind, a charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Take it, boys. <laughs> See? Inside of every demon. He always grabs her, yanks her around, or something like that. It's like he's really trying to keep her away from the charge. <laughs> You can't deny that he does have style. And 
And there goes Nifty. Well, well, well. He Look came looking for trouble. The striped freak. We meet yet again, Alistair. Do I know you? Ah, oh, yes, burn. you do. And this time I have the element of surprise. I'm so evil. Yeah, it sounds like papyrus. Okay, so this actually indicates that uh, they said they don't know how Alistair got so powerful. This seems to show that he is some kind of support from kind of like an elder god or some shit, you know, some Lovecraftian thing. Ooh. I also get the feeling that uh, this guy, Serpentius, is going to be the Team Rocket of the series. Ooh. Look at his face, man. And even well, <laughs> Nifty's I'm just starved. on the, she's Who just down there with a little smile. She's just smiling the whole thing. For jambalaya. In fact, it nearly killed her. <laughs> you could say the kick was right out of hell. Oh, Seriously? No, you're not. Uh, this is the start of some real changes down here. Friggin' Alistair and his friggin' dad jokes. Now. He did that. Stay tuned. This is just really, really good. I mean, you gotta admit, I mean, this is amazing. This is all independent, and even though the animation is like, isn't like, you know, it's not like they did like, you know, hyper detailed everything, but still, it's just really, really good. I mean, it's better than like 99% of the shit you find on TV nowadays. I really do hope this uh, show develops. I mean, we're probably, we're probably gonna have to wait for like another three or four years before we get another episode. But, you know, I'm willing to wait. This is going to be like the longest season in existence. The first season is going to be like, it's going to take like, you know, 15 years to do the first season. I'll bet you. <laughs> Look at this. Independent. This is independent. I mean, I understand that this show is also getting a lot of controversy. A lot of people are bitching about it on Twitter and whatnot. But that's pretty much partially why I figured I really had to do it because uh, people are hating on it so people are hate certain people are hating on it so much and I just think something like this is something that should be supported this kind of creativity it should be supported it you know even whether you donate money or whatever aha now will you shoot me with your ray gun oh god yeah, definitely, definitely the, definitely going to be the Team Rocket of this uh, series. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Yes, I did have to cut some parts out and some parts that I thought might have been a little bit too questionable. You know that uh, I, it's not, it's not so much that I'm worried about uh, what, what they actually contained, uh, so much as I'm worried about getting you know trounced by YouTube. And their algorithm, though some things I do, I don't think they really, um, they're a little bit too much for what I'm trying to put into my channel. Because I'm not trying to make my channel, you know, fully rated R. But <laughs> even though it is, considering with the cuss words I use, it's, yeah, I, I think it is kind of rated R. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did. Don't forget to click on the link to the original video down in the description. All right, and uh, don't forget to give the original like and subscribe to the original creator. And yeah, I mean, hell, I'm even thinking about doing it, doing it into the patron here. I mean, this is just really, really good. So I'll see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content, and bye-bye.